As the fighting went on in the center of Phnom Penh, eventually the Cambodian People's Party forces started to get the upper hand. And the royalist Funsen Peck forces loyal to Prince Ronneret, or those who were operating on behalf of King Sihanouk, retreating, giving up, going into hiding, and fearful that they would be captured, killed, and executed, some, some of whom had dual US and Cambodian citizenship, were calling me up. Protect me, help me, take me into your embassy. And I'd say, where are you? Uh, I'll, I'll come, I'll, I'll protect you, I'll stand with you, uh, next to you, protect you with my body so uh, no one will shoot you while I'm there. And many of them were too afraid to tell me where they were. So I knew where some areas and with a couple of other of my officers, again with no guns, no weapons, I went out and started walking down the street in the middle of these advancing troops and going to houses where I believed these royalist, dual citizen Americans, just even some who were not Americans, but political leaders terrified they would be killed, I'm looking for them going in and out of houses. Where are you? I'm here, come out. I'll protect you. Eventually, I would get in touch with some and they'd say, We're, I'm staying hidden. All right, wait till it's dark. Then come to the embassy door, we'll take you in. And they started doing that. And one by one, they would come, we'd take them in the embassy, put them in an embassy car, drive them over to the hotel where we were putting up people. We had officers there who would protect them through their physical presence. And then a day or two later, drive them to the airport, walk them up onto planes, walk up next to them in the door of the plane to be sure they got on there safely and planes would take off and they'd be out of the country. That's the extent we foreign service officers, American civilian civil service diplomats did to protect American citizens, be they residents of the US or Cambodian American. American citizens, dual citizens, people who have been part of the Cambodian coalition government, they were still American citizens they deserved our protection. This amazingly devastating situation, all we had worked on building these political structure to bring peace to Cambodia for the poor Cambodian people who had gone through so much, now it's coming apart, breaking apart. The relationships, the compromises we had pushed being dissolved in gunfire it was so, so incredibly heartbreaking, but a situation to which we had to react and I had to provide the leadership to my embassy in reacting. <laughs>